What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush, Let's Talk Jets. Hope everybody's having an excellent Monday. The legal tampering period has begun, and the Jets suffered a bit of a loss as Bryce Hupp is going to the Philadelphia Eagles. Three years, reportedly $51 million, $34 million guaranteed. So you're looking at an average of $17 million a year. And this is, I think the Jets blew it with this one. I really do. And if you followed this channel for a while, we were telling the team to resign Huff last year. You could have got done the offseason. You could have got something done in season. And if you weren't going to do anything with him, if you knew you weren't going to resign, you couldn't afford him or didn't want him or whatever it was, why not trade him at the trade deadline for something? Reportedly, the Chicago Bears were interested. But I hate this. I do. I think the Jets, they could, they can still upgrade their offense and retain Huff. There's a, a million different ways you can manipulate the cap. And to let one of your young pass rushers go after you watch them develop into a very good player is just annoying, man. There's no way to look at it. And now I know everybody's going to say Jermaine Johnson had a breakout year and Will McDonald could do the same thing. What's wrong with having three pass rushers? Or, you know, it's like you're one Jermaine Johnson injury away from saying, okay, Will McDonald, okay, you got to dominate for us. You know, and we'll see what happens. I'm curious to see if the Jets go out and try to sign another pass rusher in free agency or if they draft one later on. But either way you look at it, this is – and I, everybody keeps telling me how great the scheme is. You can have all the schemes you want in the world, all the defensive coaches you want in the world, but at the same time, you want elite-level talent. And when you have it, you keep it. You just saw in the playoffs how important speed and defense is and how important pass rushers are. So now you're taking away one, you need to find one. So whether it's to draft, free agency, who knows. A bit of good news, the Jets re-signed Greg Zerline two years. I think it was, what, $8.4 million. Cap friendly this year. I think next year it's like $5 million cap hit, but that's a solid thing. You're expect, you expected more stat to come back as well. But uh, interesting start, and the, uh, the interior offensive line market is crazy, the money they're getting paid. So will the Jets jump into that foray, or will they kind of say, you know what, we'll hold off and go to the second and third tier guys? David Bakhtiari was released by the Packers, so instantaneously everybody's, you know, kind of pushing him with the Jets. What happens there, we don't know. So stay tuned as it happens. We'll try to keep it updated. Talk to you later.